Trump supporter looks for Valentine's Day. If he came up and said, hey, I think you're really cute. Would you like to go on a Valentine's date with me? Right now, wearing all this with the balloon, the flowers, would you say yes? Would you accept them? I would not. I'm not a fan of all the Trump stuff. Would you uh, go out with him looking like this? Uh, no. Why not? He is a Trump supporter, and I see that. Aren't you inclusive? Are you triggered? Huh? Hot diversity? What about diversity of opinion? Own, get, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked, get owned, get owned, get owned, get owned, owned you. Wait, I have a serious question. How much did she pay you to wear that? Um. Oh, he can't make his own decisions because he's black? Got him. Got him. That's why we brought him here. That's why, why, that's why I brought my token, obviously, so that you could point that out as a white person. And then I could just say, oh, black people have autonomy, sweetie. Guess what? Black people have autonomy. Yeah, I know. They are also capable, equally capable of having really dumb opinions. Okay? We're here at the University of Akron, and we're making a very special Valentine's Day video for you guys. Will you be my Valentine? We are going to get him laid one of these days, okay? My dude, you're going to snap out of it. On God, we're going to get you some pussy, okay? You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, my guy. You just, you don't. Oh my God, uh, do you, are you implying that he's only a Trump supporter to get laid? Uh, that's fucked up, okay? It's Valentine's Day today, but it's also Black History Month. We're gonna see if the students at this campus are very diverse and inclusive, and we'll go on a Valentine's Day with Joel Patrick here in his hat. First of all, you got no drip, okay? I mean, you got no drip. This is ugly as hell, okay? You have an ugly ass Make America Great Again beanie, and you're wearing an ugly ass NASCAR rally ass looking ass Trump uh, hoodie. Okay, so you, no, even if this didn't say Trump on it, I'm pretty sure you'd still probably have a hard time getting laid. You have negative drip, and then on top of that, it says Trump all over it. So of course people are gonna be like, yeah, no, that's kind of gnarly. Why would you do that? I mean, it's it's literally a people repellent. But then again, being a black conservative is, or being a conservative in general, but being a black conservative is already an additional people repellent. So once again, I must uh, keep it 100 here on the Keeping It 100 podcast, okay? Here's the thing. Conservatives that make less than $250,000 a year are simps. Conservatives that don't own assets, don't own capital, are simps, they're cucks, they're fools, and they're dumb because they're voting against their best interest. That goes across the board. Like if you make less than $250,000 a year and you're voting Republican, you're a an idiot, okay? You vote against your self-interest and you're stupid. Having said that, if you're black on top of that, you are literally not only going against your class interest, but you're also voting for the guys that are using you to racially agitate and, and galvanize their white base of voters. And they don't even hide it. At least the Democrats pander, okay? At least the Democrats have the decency to pander to black, fe uh, black folks, black people. Republicans don't even do that. They don't even do the pandering. They just straight up are like, nah, they're gang, they're they're gang bangers. Then I again, of course, a uh, year -tax. How at the end of the day, when Bernie wins? he probably makes money this I way. I am voting for him too. And uh, judging by everything I've seen of him, I mean, he has like zero personality. So this is like. Okay. Well, if you didn't have a boyfriend, would you go on a Valentine's date with him? Sure. <laughs> oh, perfect. All right. The very All first right. ladies we asked. Oh my God. Look at how excited he is. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to get late. Would you guys go on a date with my friend Joel Patrick here? Would you, Would you go on a date with my friend Joel Patrick? Um, I'm talking to someone, so no. But if you weren't talking to someone, and if I was like looking for someone for Valentine's Day? I mean, he has the roses. I have roses and a balloon. Okay. All right, come on. Come on, you date me. You wouldn't date me, right? It's cool. <laughs> um, absolutely not. Probably not. Why not? Because I'm a Democrat, and you're working wearing all this But it's Black, month. it's Black History Month. It's Black History Month. It is Black okay. History Yeah, why don't you wear a clan robe then oh it's black history month okay dude sick that means that uh black people can do anything they want uh without any sort of judgment which by the way unironically is how the conservatives claim democrats treat black people like like they'll always conservatives will always say like oh you can't criticize a black person if you're a liberal like everyone will say you're racist like no no one, I mean, maybe there are some crazy liberals like that, okay, who are like afraid of criticizing a black person or something. I would go so far as to say that that's a little racist in and of itself. But 
the only people who unironically believe that if you criticize a black person, I can call you racist are conservatives. Okay. That's why they like decided to hire Candace Owens and this guy and a bunch of other uh, black people in like conservative think tanks just so they could say like, you know, we're not racist. Look, we got black people saying white supremacist stuff, so pff, can't say it's racist now. Would you go on a Valentine's date with my friend Joe Patrick? Uh, no, I won't. Why? I don't like you, and I, if he's friends with you, I probably don't like him either. You don't know who he is. That's well, awesome. guilt by association. What did oh. you do? I don't know. It's Black Apparently History Month. Black Are you gonna? Month, and um, I'm actually black. So you say you hate me, but you don't know me, but you hate me because I'm standing next to her. You don't love the Well, if you're with her, then yeah. Well, why do you hate me? You're with her right now, too. Does that make you a bad person? Well, if I keep standing here, maybe. Why don't you tell me why you don't like me? Oh, no! Do you like me? I like you. Oh, Jesus Christ. King. Brutal. Just brutal. I mean, that's why he was trying to get away. He's like, yeah, I, I don't want this right now. I have black guys on my side. Based on his awesome appearance here and just how friendly and awesome and cute he is, would you take him up on a Valentine's Day? Like on Valentine's Day? Oh, I have to work. Like right, a, what about the next day? Next day, I also have to work. What about the next day? Sunday. Oh, oh I work at the dorm all day. All right, Sunday. what about Monday? Depends what time. 2 p.m. <laughs> I might be working, but I might not be. All right, let's let's assume you're not. Okay. Would you uh, go out with him looking like this? Uh, no. Why not? He is a Trump supporter, and I see that. Aren't you inclusive? Am I inclusive? Mm -hmm. I like to think so. Just not towards Trump supporters. Not particularly, no. I have so many fans here that need your support at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett to keep me coming out here. Yeah. To get some feet pics, okay? For the simps. All right. Let's yeah, this going. trip, we've already got about three, so. <laughs> Wait, I have a serious question. How much did she pay you to wear that shirt? Um, oh, he can't make his own decisions because he's black? Look how excited. Like, in that moment when she says that, it's like, you have just stepped in my rhetorical landmine. You are now a part of the logic box. I'm about to own you because you just said that black people have no autonomy, ha ha! You've activated my trap card! So amazing, it's Black History Month and the so Democrats- Bro, oh my God, you know what? All right, cancel Black History Month. I just, if Caitlin Bennett's gonna be able to use it this way, then maybe that guy who converts all the Ku Klux Klan uh, people was right. Make it year round, cancel it, make it year round. Black History Year, okay? It's Black History Month! It's Black History Month! Like, Black History Month doesn't mean that, like, uh, people have to all of a sudden act like it's chill that this really annoying dude is, is running around with his Trump gear. By the way, for the record, literally substitute that for anything else, okay? I if I was system. wearing I this much Bernie Sanders hat. merchandise, okay, but it would probably throw some people off as well. If this guy was wearing anything more. else, if this guy was a Wait, fan, if this guy was will. this big of a f***ing simp for literally anything else... Let's say the Seattle Seahawks. This guy was like kitted out in Seattle Seahawks jersey all the way, like running around constantly talking about how much he loves the Seattle Seahawks. Like you'd be like, no, no. I don't even like people that wear too much Supreme in the same fashion. They're just annoying. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I've actually met the president, what, four times now. Please. Okay, Joel you doesn't want to go on a date with the guy. Oh. Which, she, she, <laughs> she <laughs> I've met the president four times. On him, right? Like, he should be open to doing One that. One time he tossed me the keys to his car because I thought, because he thought I was the valet Sorry. guy, but he was great. Up. You guys need a date for Valentine's. Thank Would you, you take Joel Patrick up on an off? One time he pointed at me and said, look at my African-American over there. That was me. <laughs> I was his African-American. Well, just if he came up and said, hey, think you're really cute. Would you like to go on a Valentine's date with me? Right now, wearing all this with the balloon, the flowers, would you say yes? Would you accept them? I would not. I'm not a fan of all the Trump stuff. Oh. Are you inclusive, though? Well, yeah. But just judging based off of his appearance, I would say no. He's looking for a Valentine. Would you go on a date with him? No thanks. Why not? No thanks. 
She said no thanks. Uh, can't win them all. Just different views, I guess. These people just have a humiliation Do you think that fetish. Should I, I, it, him as a we are king shaming. You reject spending time with them? No, I don't. I just preferably don't. Because if you, I don't know how to word it properly. Just let me say that. Because you know there's a difference of opinion there, and there are conscious differences that you just feel strongly about. Yeah. But you can't say that and say that you're inclusive at the same time. I disagree. I think they might be running away though. <laughs> yeah. Not being inclusive of not being tolerant to my intolerance is the same as being intolerant to minorities. Got them. Listen, th there is no moral equivalence. I mean, there's kind of a moral equivalence, maybe not to the degree, but like, why wouldn't you date my friend who's wearing uh, like swastikas all over his t-shirt? Just like, why, why can't people make this preference? I bet if I, if I wore a Bernie Sanders sweater and ran around, like I said, in a Bernie Sanders hat and looked this way, people would probably also feel the same way about me on a college campus. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to do that. Well, that's the thing, Joel. You have a balloon that says, I love you. These college liberals, leftists, SJWs, they've never experienced love in their life. So they're like, love? What, what is this? What is this foreign interaction <laughs> right now? Like, like if you had to, like, a yes or... Yeah, why, why, are they, why are they so thrown off by being asked randomly by a notorious pants pooper and a, a, a aggressively... Uh, Trump supporting a uh, black conservative running up on them with cameras all over and and putting them on the spot. Why are they not more welcoming of this really normal interaction? Everybody has their phones out, Joel. Let's pose for a picture for the for the paparazzi. Oh, the paparazzi. Come on, guys, paparazzi. Come on. Oh, she loves this. Oh my God. She's like, she's like oblivious. She doesn't realize that. I mean, she doesn't realize that like these people all hate her. I think, or in her mind, it's like, well, you know, hate, love, what's the difference? Like, you know, as long as people are paying attention, I'm happy. I said this before, but like total Leo behavior. I know this because I'm a Leo myself. Yeah, she's like, I'd rather have all the hatred in the world rather than indifference. Come on. Smile. Her paparazzi. You don't love Aww, the this is so special. You love I can admit I'm not in inclusive. General. I'm not diverse. I'm not inclusive. There are certain people whose ideas I would not ever associate with, and I'm willing to say that. So if a communist walked up to me and offered me a rose, I'd say hell no. But I don't also claim to be inclusive. So maybe you should just not go by the label of inclusive. Ain't nobody want you, dude. What do you mean you'd say hell no? What do you mean? Who's coming up to you with a rose, dude? Get the hell out of here. Sure. All right. Doo doo pants, boo boo Bennett. Hello. Can we get a picture together? Actually, if you would go on a date with my friend Joel Patrick, I would get a picture of you. If I was a girl. If I was a girl. Ha <laughs> ha. That'd be. That'd be funny, right? That'd be funny. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should dress as a girl. <laughs> Just as a goof, you know? <laughs> Just maybe a kiss on the lips too. <laughs> just as a goof. Because it would be gay the other way around. But this way, it's not. So just so much going on. So much anxiety. It, it, it just bottled up frustration in one individual. God damn, dude. Uh, I mean, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> you like his get up here? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you look very nice. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Give like him a rose. Yeah, here. I got a rose no, for you. A rose, why not? Hi. No. <laughs> Would you go on a date with my friend Joel Patrick here? Oh, notice how notice how like the content ran out. The narrative broke there. She's like moving away quickly. All right, whatever. Yeah. All right. Bye. You said yes. It's no longer interesting. She said absolutely not. I'm gonna here you go. Partial. Here, give him a. Here, man. here I got you one. Run away. Okay, I got Sweet, it. I get a bro. There you go. Happy go. Valentine's. That guy. That guy looks exactly like it. Like like a 4chan poll kid. They're still using fart and doo-doo noises to censor words like racist, which I think is hilarious, completely separately from everything else. I would say no, just yeah. in general. It's not even just the Trump stuff. Like, it is the Trump stuff, but, like, it's also, yeah, no, I don't I know you. That. And if I did know you, 
have a Valentine. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you went here. Yeah, I didn't know you went here. You said that. How are you? Good, how are Good you? Good to see you. Will you go out with me for Valentine's Day? Gonna have to pass. Nothing personal. Nothing personal. But Why? you were supposed to say yes. Would you go out with me for Valentine's Day? <laughs> She doubled down. Oh, just L. L's. L's. Take the L, dude. Roses, will you accept them? I have a boyfriend for oh, three yeah, years. He's actually good looking. Ooh. What'd he say? What'd she say? I <laughs> misgendered. Said, she said it'd be better if he was good looking. I don't I think, think that's rude. Yeah. yeah, that's really rude. Yeah, that is rude. Oh. <laughs> These people spend their entire lives like uh entire lives just criticizing and hating on minorities and marginalized uh, people like they're openly homophobic which is weird for conservatives in 2020 to be like openly homophobic and i, I like transphobia i understand of course they're gonna be transphobic come on uh but like they're homophobic on top of that and then they they get like really upset at, at the first sight of uh what pushback Oh, yeah, he's unattractive. Oh, man, that's not nice. Would you uh, take his roses? No, I have a girlfriend, actually. I already have a Valentine. That's very brave. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> all right. You're not her type. Ah, uh, can't win them all. All right, this girl looks excited. Let's Hello. go. Hello. Oh, no, don't say that around here. Oh, they yeah, will seek you good. out. Would you... Go on a freak, date. dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a freak. With okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Are you into guns? Do you like Trump? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is... Why is this all it takes for conservatives to, to like one another? Is this not like a complicated process? Conservatives are literally just... They got sea cucumber brains, I think. Like, they're just like, uh -huh, you like the same things I like. You like guns? You like Trump? All right, let's do it. Unless he's trolling. Like, this is insane to be like, yeah, my entire worldview is shaped by, like, one political campaign that I've, uh, I, I've been really passionately a part of. Now, every aspect of my life is completely defined by this. My friends and family have left me because I can't stop talking about Donald Trump. People criticize me a lot for talking about politics, but in my personal life, I'm not this way. If Joel Patrick here was a girl uh -huh. and he was dressed the exact same, he just was a girl. But it wouldn't would prevent you? you from shitting on your pants. No, it wouldn't. You're right. You're I'm sorry and that that's happened to you. You're a male, so it wouldn't matter if you were a girl, bro. Would you, uh... <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you got a date. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 oh, no. You told me, no, you told me I was attractive after that other girl told me. This white girl came up and came up to me and she said that she said that I was she okay, would go out with dude. me but I was too ugly. Don't try to don't try to look for racial solidarity there, okay? Oh, this white girl said this. Like after after being the poster boy for uh like allowing white people to feel super racist because you also parrot white supremacist talking points. All right? You, you don't get to do that. Uh, maybe someone will cancel me. Maybe a black person will get mad at me for saying that. Like, it's not you up to me. And it's it's really not justice. up to me, but... Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm Janaira. My nice to meet you. He's looking for a valentine this year. Would you be his valentine? Sure. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! All right, high all right, high five. All right. We got a rose for you. We got a rose for you. Because oh. you accept me. All right, she said yes. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> All right, just looking at Joel, what made you say yes? Um, I don't know, you know, um... She's like, I'm real lonely. <laughs> I'm just lonely as hell, man. I need... I got nobody on Valentine's Day, whatever. I'll, I'll sink to this new low in my life. Whatever, what are you gonna do? We are breathing, living out here. We'll we know. Okay, that's a real coomer, dude. All right, I respect that. She's like, if if he breathes, like I'm into it. That's straight up what she said. And as a morally consistent coomer, I have to, I have to respect that. I'm looking for a Valentine's Day date. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. So like bachelor style. Mm. You see, you see, I'm kind of in a relationship. But if you weren't hypothetically, and if, if I, yeah, that's not a question you can answer when you're in a relationship, my man. I like that. Valid. That's respect. Valid. You know? Very valid. Thank you. That's respect. But I like the fit. I'm digging it. I'm beginning to notice why he became a Trump supporter, though. After the way that the DG girl reacted, and after the way the Infowars girl reacted, I, I kind of see what's going on here. I, I do, I do notice a trend. I'm just, you know, does kind of does kind of put things into a, a totally different framework here. I, oh, I have a boyfriend. What if you did it? Would you go out with? I thought these guys were like all about traditional relationships and they keep asking people to be disgusting liberal adulterers. I just, I don't know. This is, I mean, I can't watch any more of this.